Yo, what is going on YouTube Familia? Today I am very excited to bring you finally, my friend Jennifer is here in this channel, uh, to come and just talk and bring more awareness into mental health, uh, especially the importance of meditation and as to why, you know, she does it. And also as to why I'm getting into it. Uh, it's very important, you know, to have that clear space in your mind, to have that headspace in your mind where you can build uh, and you can and work towards getting better, especially up here, right? There's a lot of your fights, especially healthy wise, and just in health in general, you know, it's it's up here, right? That the mental fight, you gotta win it up here first, right? And and through the help of a meditation, through the help of also a lot of prayer for myself, it's it's built me up and it's helped me a lot. So, uh, you know, I don't wanna hold you guys too long. Just take five minutes of your time, listen to her speak, uh, and you hopefully you can get something out of it. She is a very beautiful soul and a very beautiful person. I hope you really learn something and, and hopefully you get more into meditation, more into into clearing up your mind and, and clearing up your head. Uh, so you can eventually grow and, and, and you know, heal completely from your body. As for me, that is my plan. I'm going to continue doing it. So uh, I will appreciate if you guys, you know, will show her some love in the comment section. I will also drop her social media in the comment section so you can go follow her. She does meditation uh, throughout the week. Uh, and she also eventually will have a YouTube channel. So whenever she does, you know, I will show her some love on my channel. And I will definitely post her links to, to her YouTube channel. So uh, if you really enjoyed it, so show some love. I appreciate the love, man. I really feel like, you know, you guys has been, have changed my life. Uh, and I will continue to bring more content to you guys. I will continue to bring more videos to you guys uh, on the things I do daily and what really helped me. Uh, and also because, you know, I still have a lot to work on to, to try to get healed completely because as you guys know i'm still suffering from a lot of health issues right so um by the way we reached 300 subscribers and that is really awesome i'm really happy and it's all all because of you guys and all the love so hope you enjoy this video take some time and i uh, appreciate showing you some love man love you guys peace and love what's up carlos thank you so much for having me on your youtube channel i know we've been wanting to do this for a while but i'm so glad that it's finally happening i'm so excited to reconnect especially with this topic that i love so much about meditation and just wellness in general and i love that you're sharing your personal stories especially in this moment of time 2020 has not been the easiest for any one of us so much change so much uh transitions and that's not just COVID but all these uh, events that happen from adults losing their jobs losing their businesses to kids who had to enroll into online virtual classes I don't know if I would be able to do it so much change and that usually causes the most anxiety and depression whenever we lose control of something of uh, what's gonna happen we start feeling anxious because we don't know what's right we don't know what's wrong and that's why more than ever, a lot of kids, a lot of adults are suffering from mental issues, or at least it's being spoken about more than ever now. I'm glad that we're bringing this topic of meditation because meditation is becoming such a trend with all these different programs and different apps to help you meditate. But I think it loses the gist of what really meditation is. And a lot of people think, Oh, meditation, I have to clear my mind and just sit there, but I don't know if I'm doing it right. Like I'm just, I'm following this, but am I doing it? Like, what is it supposed to feel? What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to feel any different afterwards? Ah, it's stressful. And it shouldn't be like that. Meditation for me is a moment to settle down your body and settle down your mind for it to fully get the rest and healing that it needs. And along with that, you allow yourself to see what's happening inside of you. When you sit down in stillness, all the thoughts will appear within you. Some of those thoughts will be just thoughts that are in loop from years ago, from last week, from yesterday. And some of them will be things that haven't even happened. Anxious about an upcoming test, upcoming deadline. And in between all those, they'll flutter these thoughts that are, are part of your intuition. Whether it's aligned with who you really are, your true passions and your goals, or maybe it's an answer that you've been searching for and asking for for a while. But since our mind is so busy all the time, we're unable to hear those. And the moment that you're able to sit down and be in stillness and presence, then you're able to really read between the lines 
and see what's important and see what needs to be closed down, thrown away, or let go of. That gives you a clean slate at the beginning of your day or if you want to go to sleep with a clean mind. Kind of like brushing your teeth, right? You don't even think about it. You just wake up and brush your teeth because you like a clean mouth. Who wouldn't want to have a clear mind as well? And just like brushing your teeth became a habit. You don't even know how you do it. But as a child, they taught you to brush your teeth. And it was through repetition that you learned to do it. And meditation is the same thing. I know some people struggle with like, I don't have time for it. I don't know how to do it correctly. But it starts with making it a habit. So you have to schedule it and you have to put a time and location for it and sit down for 10 minutes and just do it. But I don't know if I'm doing it right. <laughs> Meditation doesn't have a goal. There's no right or wrong way of doing it. It's just a matter of, like I said, spending time with yourself to settle, to be in rest mode and to watch your thoughts and see what happens. I like to end my meditations with gratitude or sometimes going back to a happy moment to just induce more happiness and love to myself and to the world because we need love more than ever now. <laughs> and feeling yourself with gratitude is equivalent to feeling love. That could be as simple as grateful to have food on the table. Like we don't think about this. We take all these things for granted every single day. But if you remind yourself of those little things and you're grateful, it just makes you such a better, happier person and you're able to take everything else differently. Thank you so much for having me, Carlos. And I hope you continue practicing your meditation every day. And trust me, eventually you'll become a self-reliant meditator. It just requires repetition, like going to the gym, right? At the beginning, you don't know how to work out. You don't even know if what you're doing is correctly, but eventually you find out your method that works for you, what things you need to do to look your best. And it's the same thing with meditation. After so many years and different methods of trying, I've developed what's effective for me. That all comes with time. If you have any questions, let me know I am here to help. And if I cannot answer your questions, I can also guide you to practitioners and doctors who have the answers. So let me know. Thank you so much. Again, have an amazing day. Once again, thank you so much, Jennifer. Thank you here for being in my channel. That It really means a lot to me. I'm really appreciative of, of you taking your time. Uh, don't forget, guys, that you can follow her on social media. Uh, you can also, uh, if you want more content from her, uh, you know, she'll eventually have a YouTube channel. But if anything, I can try to hear, have her on here again. And hopefully, you know, she can have like a meditation session. I really want that from her. So uh, we'll see if she's down for that. But, you know, I, I just want to keep bringing more awareness to, to mental health and, and the importance of it. Uh, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a small, quick video. I love you guys. I appreciate it. Thank you for all the love that you guys show me uh, constantly. And, uh, you know, I'm glad I can help any way I can, especially with my experience and the things I'm going through. I will continue uploading a lot of content uh, as much as I can uh, to try as many to try to help as many people as I can. Right. So I appreciate it, man. And once again, peace and love.